Hi everyone, thanks for joining our YouTube channel today. My name is Taylor with Active Grow Lighting and I'm really excited to introduce a brand new T5 product to our lineup, which is the T5 High Output Ballast Bypass Horticultural Lamp. So this 25 watt lamp replaces 54 watt T5 high output fluorescent lamps, but uses less than half the energy and does not need a ballast to operate. Instead, this lamp can run off 120 to 277 volts. So you're avoiding using ballasts with this lamp and you're also avoiding any kind of longevity issues. You're also avoiding any kind of buzzing and flickering issues. And it just makes it so whatever fixture you have sitting in your garage or ready to throw away, you can get rid of that ballast and you can operate a lamp like this and it's gonna last its full 30,000 plus hour lifetime. So this lamp is quite unique in the industry because it's the first bypass ballast lamp with a dedicated horticultural spectrum for plants. So we're very proud of developing this product and we are very proud to be on the Illuminating Eng Engineering Society 2020 progress report for this lamp. So I'm gonna get into the uh, installation method for this product and I'm also gonna show you a little bit more about a brand new spectrum that we developed for this lineup. Um, something perfect for plant productions and microgreens, which I'll discuss at the end. Uh, anyway, thanks for checking this out and we're going to get right into it. Thank you. Now for the installation portion of the video, I wanted to go over what you need for that process. And for our example, we're going to be using a four foot, four lamp fixture. Um, to open this up, we're going to need a screwdriver. And to do some wire stripping and wire cutting, you're going to need a wire stripper. And then we're gonna have some areas where we're gonna to need to connect wires together so we have our wire connectors. Maybe you have an eight lamp fixture, maybe you have a six lamp fixture, maybe your fixture is not brand new like ours is, but the same general rules will apply. And we'll go into that in more detail here shortly. Now the first thing we're gonna do is open up the fixture. So we're gonna get our screwdriver and we're just gonna start going from side to side. So now that we've removed the, the reflector from the fixture, we can see inside and we can see that we have two ballasts here. One ballast is operating the outer band of lamps and the other ballast is operating the inner band of lamps. And those are controlled by the switches. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to remove the ballast just to get them out of the way. So in order to remove the ballast, we're going to take our wire cutter and we're just going to cut the, the uh, live wire and the neutral that are coming out of the ballast here on both sides. Now for our fixture, the ground wire was going, being connected to where the ballast through was. So I just wanted to show you that on this unit, I had to reconnect the ground wire here. So that's so now to get access to what's beneath the tombstones, I'm going to unscrew these screws here from the outside. Now that we have access to beneath the tombstones, you can see kind of how the wiring is happening here. So these two are on one switch and these outer are on the other switch. Now before we get into starting to rewire the tombstones, I wanted to show you why I have a continuity reader here. So to show that this is a continuous circuit, you can hear that it's making that sound when you touch these two together. So let's test it on these. If we hear that sound, then that means we have to switch these out for non-shunted. Okay. So we do not hear that sound. So that means that these are non-shunted tombstones. So with T5 fixtures and G5 bases, more often than not, it's already gonna have non-shunted tombstones included in the fixture. So easy for us, we don't have to switch these out. We just have to worry about the wiring part. 
So let's do that next. Since I want my switches to operate where the this switch here will operate the two lamps on the outside and this switch will operate the two on the inside, I'm gonna connect this side to this side and this side to this side. Now that we have these exposed, I'm going to connect our one switch live to this end and the other switch live to this end. One live switch connection and then we have the other live switch connection. So those are our lives. We have two neutrals coming out here, so we're just going to follow the same path as this. We have extra wire here to create those places to make that connection, so we're going to use this for that. So now that that's all wired up, we're gonna screw it back in place. You have some space in some cases for the wires to kind of be pushed down back here. Wired up to the switches. This end, you don't need to worry about this other end over here. That's just the dummy end, that's just a placeholder. So now that we have our end connected here. I wanted to get our lamps. Try one first. So we have our bypass ballast installation lamps and we have a live end here. It says live and neutral. We're gonna put that in this end. And this is the moment of truth, folks. So the one lamp works well, and I'm very happy with that. Okay, so now let's move this out of the way, get the reflector on. Okay, now that we finished that fun installation process, I wanted to say one final thing before we turn these lamps on. Um, the four lamps do come with a sticker in each pack that basically says uh, warning that this fixture has been modified to operate bypass ballast LED lamps and do not use them anymore with a fluorescent uh, lamp. Uh, I wanted to plug this in and show you if or if not all four lamps work. I'm going to turn them on one by one. So we have our outer two that we set up on that outer bank that work fine. And the inner two do work as well. Um, no ballast inside. You're running 25 watts per lamp. So this is a total of 100 watts for this fixture. And it looks really good. It's a lot lighter weight because there are no ballasts inside. It, it not only saves energy, it, if you were to throw these fixtures away, you're, you're saving on you know materials because you can continue to use this fixture essentially as long as these lamps can operate. And then if you want to replace it with lamps down the road, you can do that too, but you don't have to throw the fixture away, which is good. Um, the only thing you do have to throw away or try to use in another application is your ballast. And uh, please try to recycle these if you can. So that looks great. Now that we've completed the installation process of the T5 bypass ballast lamps, I wanted to quickly show you a little bit more about the spectrum that we developed specifically for this type of lamp. And it will also be on our propagation luminaires as well as our strip lights, which is the Sun White Pro spectrum. Pro meaning production. So we've had a lot of feedback from customers saying that uh, for certain microgreens and starts, that the sun white was not ideal for that situation as there was a slightly lack in the blue light. So we've developed this uh, spectrum specifically for 
microgreen production, uh, leafy green production, vegetable starts, and um, some other full production sort of commercial grade plants. The idea behind this spectrum is the higher on the blue side. So I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So the sun white production spectrum has that higher peak in blue, but the full spectrum design with the greens and the oranges and into the reds, but then you have the dedicated 660 NM wavelengths here. So the proportion that we've developed between the blues and the reds here is ideal, like I said, for that full cycle plant production situation, where if you really wanna accentuate the green colors of the plant, or if you really wanna build up that hardiness and uh, sort of create a, a compact bushiness level. So this was uh, developed specifically for that. As you can see, when I showed you earlier, you could see the white diodes, but you, every seventh diode is that 660 NM. So for a linear lamp like a T5 or a T8, this is a quite a, a unique sort of spectrum as it's not just one uh, blur pole or it's not just one CCT. Um, the feedback we've gotten on this spectrum is very positive. We've seen a lot of excellent growth from our community. So we hope that we can hear more from you and your results with this spectrum. But I'm happy to answer any further questions uh, either on our comments section or via email. My email is taylor at activegrowled.com. We're really excited to bring this kind of product to the market where you can save energy, have a longer uh, lifetime uh, a horticultural lamp and you're able to not have to throw away your old fixtures so it's better for uh, the plants and it's better for the planet that we can we can be like this so I thank you again for checking out our uh, YouTube video today follow us on social media like us and um, thanks again for watching